Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Domic Nation. It is walk the dog vlog today. I definitely need to shave, as you can see. Uh, so I had uh, nerds on site come to help me try and figure out my problem. Uh, a lot of people gave me tons of awesome advice, one of them being a program called Clam X, which I'm running again on my computer. Uh, but it looks for viruses. So uh, it's funny because the two things that I found are technically ad uh, programs. They, they force ads to come up. And uh, so those are the two programs I found, I found yesterday using Clam X. So when I phoned up my buddy at Nerds on site, he uh, said, oh, there's this other program that's really, really good at removing these things, uh, especially the ad ones. And uh, so we tried to install that, but Clam X is so good <laughs> that it will not let us install that program. And, uh, but he totally swears by it. He said it's the best program ever. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I think it's called Add W something. Anyway, so right now I'm running Clam X again to see if it can find any other things. Uh, and if it does, then I'll remove them. But uh, he didn't charge me because we couldn't figure out the problem and it was causing a bit of an issue. It took us about an hour and a half. Uh, again, some of these programs, when they scan your hard drive, uh, it takes a long time. Uh, one of the things I've discovered too is it's probably best to buy external hard drives for all your photographs and all the things that you want to have, probably even music maybe, uh, and don't put them on your computer because when you do have a computer issue, you know, if the computer hard drive fails, then um, you lose a lot of stuff. That's one thing. I've heard people losing all their photographs from all of their trips uh, because their computer, their main computer hard drive crashed and they put everything on that. And then also when you have an issue like this and you're trying to scan your whole hard drive, it's scanning every single file in your computer. If you take tens of thousands of pictures, then uh, it's gotta go through every single photograph, every single document. So I think maybe from now on, I'm, my computer's just gonna have applications and just pretty much that and they threw away all their beer bottles it's probably like five dollars in beer bottles there some kids should just come along and steal that stuff that's funny they don't even want to take it back to get their money back oh well anyway so Today I have to uh, finish up the Arby's video. Somebody said, Ken, I thought you only released videos on Tuesday and Friday. And uh, my reply to that person was, because I just came back from Chicago and I shot a bunch of videos, I'm just trying to get them out as fast as possible. Because if I didn't, then the Chicago videos would last to the end of the month. And there's so many other things I need to do before then. So I'm hoping, hoping you're liking, I'm hoping you're liking the, uh, the everyday video at the moment. It's not bad doing them every day. Uh, the thing is, all my views and all my, like everything is up, right? Because I've been putting out a video every single day. As soon as next week starts and I only start putting out two, it's just gonna drop everything and it's gonna be all disconcerting. But I already know why it's gonna drop, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna go inside, start working as soon as Sam does his thing. Brought Sam back home and uh, thought I'd let Louie have some outside time because he's not having a good day at all. Right, Louie? He's like sneezing and had to kind of keep an eye on where he is because he sneezed like all over the desk uh, right by the window. So I had to like hose it down, spray it, clean it up. I just wanted to show you what's going on with the garden. So I think these are the irises and they're all starting to lose their, their flowers. Um, Carol put potatoes all in there. It looks like we have some lettuce. I'm not sure what the other things are at this moment. We've got onions. Onions, that's Megan's, Megan's trees. That's my tree. Uh, where's my other tree? 
Well, she bought three trees. One, two, and there's one over there at three. And there's that one. This one starting to go good. Probably gonna have to put some food in there. There's our corn. It's doing okay. A couple of them are broken. Oh, and there's a snake. Wow. Check it out, people. That's called a garter snake. And he is gone. <laughs> oh, and a toad. Well, he was probably after that toad, but dude, I wouldn't go that way. And he's not gonna last very long. Just wanna get the snake. Oh, he's already over there. Man, he moved fast. He's definitely after that toad, maybe. We'll leave that open for Louis just in case he comes this way and wants to play with a snake. Uh, so, I think he's camouflaged. So this is a burning bush. This is how tall they can get. Uh, I'm going to have to probably chop it right down <clears throat> in the fall when it, after it turns, after it loses all of its leaves, because there's, there's a lot of this dead stuff happening. It looks terrible. Uh, I watched a video on how to maintain your burning bush and the guy, so that bush, same as this bush, and it used to be like this big, really beautiful bush. And then it, it did the same thing, cut it right back down. Last year didn't do so hot, and then this year it's doing much better. Carol did plant stuff in here, uh, usually beans and stuff that will grow up. Let's take you to the front real quick. So these burning bushes are doing well. There's my big, my big leaf. Uh, hosta, hosta, regular hosta, too much hosta, and there's my other burning bush. I might have to take some of this stuff out so it can get to be normal sized burning bush. Uh, and we moved in the back garden where Carol did the potatoes, it was a big leaf, uh, big leaf hosta, and we moved it to the front. And this is doing okay, I gotta do some weeding. And it's garbage day, if you can hear the garbage trucks. So yeah, everything's looking good outside for the gardens. And uh, we'll see you inside. Louie, where are you? It's Friday, June 12th. Uh, after I shot yesterday's uh, vlog up to the, the garden stuff, I came back, and back inside, uh, finished up my editing, and then I did like, I don't know, six gaming uh, videos in a row. Uh, I think I did the last one like at 10 o'clock at night, uh, plus going to pick up Ben and all that stuff. Just uh, give you a heads up what to fill in the rest of the gap on Thursday. I don't think anything else crazy happened. Oh, we took Sam and Louie up to the vets, and Sam had his shots. Louie got looked at. Louie's on antibiotics. He has to take like one mil of uh, antibiotics every 12 hours, which is really fun to... You have to use a syringe and to squirt it into... Oh, mosquito. Oh. Uh... <laughs> you have to use a syringe, so I have to like grab sit on Louie, open his mouth, like that, and Carol's got to shoot the the syringe of, of medicine into his mouth, and he's like, which is fun to watch, and then they get treats afterwards, of course. Anyway, so that was uh, what I did for the rest of Thursday. And it's time for birthday shout-outs for Friday, June 12th. It is Nick's birthday, uh, Angel, Casey... Amanda, uh, Callum, and Chris, happy birthday, you five. Hope you guys have an awesome Friday birthday. What a great day to have a birthday. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your birthday, uh, dinner-wise, food-wise, restaurant-wise, whether you went out or stayed in, let me know. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Talk to you later.